In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create PDF documents for free, uh, even without uh, Adobe Acrobat. Now, you might know that if you have, uh, if you already own Microsoft Word, that you can save in, uh, pretty much any document that you create in Word as a PDF. If you come up to File and click Save As, if you use this uh, Save As type drop down box, and you'll see PDF as one of the, the uh, choices. So if you click on that, that will save this document as a PDF. But sometimes you might have uh, something that's from another program that you'd like to save as a PDF, and it, if it doesn't have a way to natively save it as a PDF or output as a PDF, uh, you'd basically be out of luck. But there's actually a free program called Cute PDF that allows you to uh, basically print from any program and instead of printing to an actual physical printer you print to this program's uh, output and that allows you to create a PDF pretty much from any program that can output to a printer. So what you're going to want to do is go to www.cutepdf.com and if you click on their products page, you'll see this page here where you have the Cute PDF Writer. And on the left side of here you see free download. So when you click on that, that opens up and that downloads the uh, program cutewriter.exe. So once that's downloaded, click on it and click run and click next and you can close the browser and click uh, accept this agreement click next and you basically just want to uncheck these checkboxes here that basically want to install an extra program called the ask toolbar and you don't need that for it to work so I would just uncheck those and then click next and you also want to decline it when it asks you to install desktop weather. If it asks you to install pretty much any other programs, just click decline. And at this point, it's ready to install. So you click install. And basically what this is saying is that for to use the program, it actually has to download and install this other program, which actually does the PDF conversion but it's fine to click yes and that actually will just install the other component and allow this program to work. So you let it install. Depending upon the speed of your computer, it should install pretty quickly. And that's basically it. Now you go through here and it'll basically give you uh, some instructions on how to use it and what it'll look like, but I'll actually show you now. So you can minimize this. So once you have it installed, uh, it'll actually show up under your printer settings as a, another printer, besides the physical printer you already have installed. So see here it shows up as Cute PDF Writer. Now here I have it set as my default printer, but you don't have to to have it work. You just want to make sure that it's actually uh, showing up in, on your printers. And then if you go into a program that you normally wouldn't be able to make a PDF from, say like Notepad, And this will work from basically any program that you could normally print to a printer, this will work with. And when you're ready to create the PDF, you go to the print setting. And make sure that cute PDF writer is selected, and then you click print. And what it actually does is, and then gets ready to create the PDF. 
and it'll ask you for uh, to give it a name and a place to save it. So I'm just going to give it its default name here and click save. Save that. And then if you look down here, there's now a uh, new PDF on my desktop. And there is the PDF made from the uh, notepad. And this will work now. In some cases, the quality might not be as good as if you actually use, say, Adobe Acrobat to create the PDF. But probably 90% of cases, uh, it works fine and will allow you to create PDFs from uh, various different programs. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you liked it, please click like below. Also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.